YouTube, I'm Crystal, crystalsellsandstuff.com. Welcome or welcome back to the channel where I share sewing pattern reviews, sewing tips and techniques, and other fun related content. So today I'm here to share with you my review of the Naomi Woven Dress by Style Art Patterns. And this is a really fun dress that I think you will all enjoy sewing up. And this pattern was sent to me by Style Art Patterns. Um, they're one of the sponsors for the Sew Maxi for Mother's Day Challenge. And this is a really fun challenge that I created along with T of Crumpets Tea and Sewing here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. And, and this is a fun challenge where we go ahead and, and encourage sewists to sew up a maxi garment. And so we ask that sewists sew up a, a maxi length dress, skirt, or um, jumpsuit, or pants. And this year we've even added um, tops because this year's theme is make a statement. So we're asking that sew is sew up a maxi type garment with some kind of a statement option. So um, you can do... Uh, a really fun bow blouse. You can do really statement sleeves. And so we've gone on ahead and added statement tops as well to the challenge this year for our theme of make a statement. So anyway, let me share with you um, my review of this really cool dress pattern. The Naomi woven dress is a really um, relaxed fit dress that is designed for your nice flowy fabric. So things like linen, lightweight linens, rayons, um, really lightweight cottons, things like that would work really well for this um, pattern. It's a slip on dress without any closures or anything and it is really easy and loose fitting. It has an angled waist seam right here with uh, drawstrings uh, at this, um, it's kind of empire level, so it's not at your natural waist, it's just a little bit, um, it's just a little bit above, it's a bit above it, so it gives you an empire waist style. And then um, there's a V-neck in the front, um, and then there are side slits on um, from the knee down. And then um, the sleeves are 7 8 inch length sleeves. But on me, because I'm quite short, they come out full length. But I, I'm really happy with the length. Well, on me, it comes out kind of bracelet length. So there's enough room to for you to show off your bracelet or your watch for the sleeve. So I really like the style of sleeve. And then the sleeves are have elasticated kind of closures at the bottom. And this pattern has a nice size range. It's available in sizes 4 through 36. And that is for bust sizes of 30 inches up to 67 inches. Waist sizes of 23 inches to 61 inches. And then hip sizes of 32 inches through 70 inches. So this has a really nice size range. And then there aren't a lot of pattern pieces. There are nine pattern pieces total. So you have your um, front bodice, and that's cut on the fold. You have your back bodice piece, and that's cut on the fold. You have your front facing, and then your back facing. You have your sleeves. You have your front and back skirt, which is just one pattern piece. You just cut it twice, one for the front and then one for the back and that's cut on the fold and then you have um your drawstring so not a lot of pattern piece and pockets it does have pockets right here so not a lot of pattern pieces to it so i think you will all really enjoy sewing this up and it won't take you too much too long to go ahead and make it so i sewed up a size 10 i didn't make a lot of pattern changes the only pattern change that i made was in the shoulders um I, instead of a 10, I went up, I just cut off the next size down. So like an eight, I just went down one side in the shoulder so that it would meet me right here, right at the, um, at the empire kind of waistline area. And so I just, um, did an eight just for the shoulder area and that was it. So that's the only, um, as far as, um, that's the only pa main pattern change that I made, um, as far as the sizing, I didn't have to grade it between sizes or anything else. So that's the only like sizing type of change that I made. And then I just made some tweaks to it to make, to make a statement for it. So the fabric that I use is this really cool, um, leopard, um, and leaf print from LA Finch Fabrics. And it's called Roaming in the Foliage Black Leopard. Cat Rayon Shally and Romy in the Foliage Mint Leopard Rayon Shally fabric. And um, it is a really cool print and I just love it. And I decided to, in order to make my statement for this year's theme, I would do, um, I would block prints instead of just, just colors. I wanted to try uh, two different prints in the same 
uh, in different colorways in order to make a statement. I just really love how it turned out with these different prints. So in order to, I did make some changes in order to bring out that, um, to make more of a statement. So for the neck, um, for the neck facing, I went on ahead and sewed it to the outside of the dress instead of inside because normally your facing goes inside and you don't see it and it would have been the same fabric as the main uh the body of the pattern so i had to so i decided to just sew it just backwards pretty much i just did the opposite normally you would put your facing on the front of your garment and then stitch it down and then turn it inside but this time i did it from inside and then flipped it out in order to have it um sit in the front. I also cut the front facing on the fold instead of um, having it um, cut twice because I think the front uh, facing is cut twice and the back facing is cut on the fold. But I went on ahead and I decided to um, just take away the seam allowance and go ahead and cut it on the fold so that it wouldn't um, so I wouldn't have a seam down the middle. So that's what I did for the front facing um, to make it stand out because I wanted to have that contrast in the neckline. I also contrasted the sleeves for the, um, instead of making it all the same fabric, so I just did the black um, uh, roaming leopard fabric for the sleeves. And then at the, and then I also used it for the drawstrings. I used the black fabric for the drawstrings. So for the bottom, I just took the bottom skirt piece. So this is like the, the skirt um, piece of the pattern. So what I did was at the bottom, I just kind of cut it off straight. And then I made, I used this part of the pattern. I cut this part in black and I just, and I kept this in my main fabric. And so, and then when I cut it, I just added a little extra half inch for seam allowance. Um, so that it, I can have some seam allowance in order to to sew it up together. So I really like how it turned out. Now on me, now I'm five one, and so on me it is maxi length. But if you're a little bit taller, it might come out to kind of midi or um, a little bit um, shorter on you because I'm five one. And most patterns, I believe this pattern is designed for someone five five-ish and so you might want to just check the length on it if you still want it to be maxi length but so on me it, it does come all the way down to um it comes down to ankle length for, on me and I really like that um length on me without any I didn't have to make a I didn't really have to shorten it other than when I shortened the bodice it kind of brought everything up an inch um so but you do want to go ahead and check the length of it if you do want it to be maxi. If you don't, you can just leave it um, the way it is. But for me, it came out as a maxi by just um, the, the normal length comes out a, at a maxi length on me. And I'm really happy with the length of it. Directions were pretty easy and straightforward. Now, Stylog doesn't give you a ton of directions, but they give you just enough for you to go ahead and um, sew it up. And the directions were very straightforward. They, were, they did have a different technique of creating the pockets. They had you um, put the pocket um, to the front and then attach the second pocket on top of it, which was a new technique for me to sew up a pocket, but I do like how it turned out. I might try that for other projects, but you can just sew it. You can sew the, the pocket in the way you normally do if you want to. That was the only um, unique thing about the directions that I noticed. Um, another note with the directions is um, there was one point where they asked when, when you were doing a neckline and instead of saying under stitching, they called it flat stitching. So I just think that's just a different terminology that they used in their patterns um, than what I'm used to but you can easily figure out you know what they mean with that um, you can tell that 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 meant under stitching but other than that it was a really easy pattern very straightforward a beginner could definitely handle this I think there are enough um, directions in here even for a beginner to handle um, with the drawstrings they do have give you an option to go ahead and put some toggles or I guess you could put beads or something on the ends of your drawstrings. I think that would be really cute if you did that. Um, but the directions were very straightforward and um, it, they give you just enough, exactly what you need. So not a whole lot of extra directions, but um, just enough to, um, to, to, to help you sew this up really easily. 
thing that minor thing that I changed is I used a little bit wider elastic than um, was called for in the pattern. I used like a one and a quarter, one and a half inch elastic for the cuffs, and I just like how it turned out because I just like the little wideness of the cuff, and I don't think I had enough quarter inch elastic to um, for the bottom, but I just really like how it turned out with these wider cuffs. So it really came out nicely with the wider cuffs. A, a quick overview of the Naomi woven dress by Stylark Patterns. And now here are some fun pics and twirls of me wearing this really fun dress. So those are the picks and twirls of the Naomi woven dress. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And if you sewn it up, let me know that as well. And then also be sure to check out T of Crumpets Tea and Sewing's channel for more inspiration, as well as the ambassadors for the Sew Maxi for Mother's Day challenge, Natita of Sew Natural Dane, Talisha of Creativity by T, Rochelle of Handmade, Rochelle Handmade Designs, Andra of Andra Makes, Alex of a Mason Lifestyle, and Renata of the Twilight Stitcher. So go ahead and check out their channels. They have a lot of fun inspiration. They have some different pattern ideas, pattern and fabric matching ideas, as well as um, they're sharing their plans and what they plan on making for the channel. So go, be sure to go ahead and check out their channels so that you can get even more inspired to sew something up for the Sew Maxi for Mother's Day Challenge. I'm really enjoying all the makes that are, have already come through, and I can't wait to see what you all make for this year's challenge challenge as well. All right, until next time, take care. Bye.